In the mid-1930s, one of the rooms, I think it was the administration room on the first floor, was turned into what was called the accident room, and they added to the budget one FTE for a nurse to staff it in the daytime. That would be where people would mostly come with fractures and lacerations, and the doctor would be contacted and he would come from his office to the hospital and either sew up the laceration or fix the fracture. A lot of the things that people currently come to the hospital for probably didn't result in someone coming to the hospital in 1922. If you were having a heart attack uh, in 1922, there wasn't a lot that the hospital was gonna offer you that your primary care doctor couldn't do in your home. He'd probably give you a popper of amyl nitrate and could give you some nitroglycerin and could give you some morphine. So there wasn't a lot of point in being in the hospital. Why wouldn't you be at home and have the doctor come by in the morning and in the evening and maybe the visiting nurse would visit you? The modern specialty of emergency medicine really sprang from the development of emergency medical systems, which happened beginning in the 1960s. Once municipalities started funding and training paramedics and buying them vehicles to transport people, there needed to be a, a specialty to receive them and, and care for them. So that really started in the 60s. Um, it was, uh, so it was a good uh, 40 years before uh, emergency medicine really became part of the picture. I think if we brought Dr. Emerson to the emergency department and showed him how we manage stroke, where someone's family member recognizes that they have a stroke because they saw something on TV to, to give them the warning signs of stroke, they dialed 911. Nowadays, we give a little bit of a clot-busting medication and the stroke goes away. Uh, the way we manage heart attack, where if you come in with a heart attack, it's possible you could be having a stent put in one of your coronary arteries within 30 minutes. I think Dr. Emerson would find that to be astounding. If you've come in and you've got, you know, someone shot you in the chest, I can have you in the operating room in literally five minutes. We can be giving you all the blood that you've lost and more, and we've got anesthesiologists who can uh, keep your heart going, and we've got talented surgeons who know how to manage gunshot wounds. The contrast between the accident room that they had in probably 1935, it was in the mid-30s that they decided to make one room for accidents. And what happens in the emergency room now is like, you know, comparing a paper airplane to the space program. Mm -hmm.